known in Czech Republic, Poland and Slovakia by his birth name Wojciech, was a Bohemian missionary and Christian saint. He was the Bishop of Prague and a missionary to the Hungarians, Poles, and Prussians, who was martyred in his efforts to convert the Baltic Prussians to Christianity. He is said to be the composer of the oldest Czech hymn Hospodin, Pamilu Yenwai and Bogorodzica, the oldest known Polish hymn, but his authorship of it has not been confirmed. Otto Albert was later declared the patron saint of the Czech Republic, Poland, and the Duchy of Prussia. He is also the patron saint of the Archdiocese of Estergom in Hungary. Born as Wojciech in 952 or ca. 956 in Gordlebis, he belonged to the Slavnik clan, one of the two most powerful families in Bohemia. Events from his life were later recorded by a Bohemian priest Cosmos of Prague. Wojciech's father was Slavnik, a duke ruling a province centered at Lebis. His mother was Strezislava, and according to David Kalhaus belonged to the pre misled dynasty. He had five brothers, Sobuslav, Spidimir, Dobroslav, Porij, and Chaslov. Cosmos also refers to Redeem as a brother, who is believed to have been a half-brother by his father's liaison with another woman. After he survived a grave illness in childhood, his parents decided to dedicate him to the service of God. Ad Albert was well-educated, having studied for approximately ten years in Magdeburg under Ad Albert of Magdeburg. The young Wojciech took his tutor's name Ad Albert at his confirmation. Monument to Ad Albert and his brother Gaudentius, Libisnad Sidlino, Czech Republic. Ad Albert on a seal of the chapter of Gniezna Cathedral in 981 Ad Albert of Magdeburg died, and his young protege Ad Albert returned to Bohemia. Later Bishop Dietmar of Prague ordained him a Catholic priest. In 982, Bishop Dietmar died, and Adalbert, despite being under canonical age, was chosen to succeed him as Bishop of Prague. Amiable and somewhat worldly, he was not expected to trouble the secular powers by making excessive claims for the Church. Although Adalbert was from a wealthy family, he avoided comfort and luxury, and was noted for his charity and austerity. After six years of preaching and prayer, he had made little headway in evangelizing the Bohemians, who maintained deeply embedded pagan beliefs. Adalbert opposed the participation of Christians in the slave trade and complained of polygamy and idolatry, which were common among the people. Once he started to propose reforms he was met with opposition from both the secular powers and the clergy. His family refused to support Duke Bolslaus in an unsuccessful war against Poland. Adalbert was no longer welcome and eventually forced into exile. In 988 he went to Rome. He lived as a hermit at the Benedictine Monastery of St. Alexis. Five years later, Bolslaus requested that the Pope send Adalbert back to Prague, in hopes of securing his family's support. Pope John XV agreed, with the understanding that Adalbert was free to leave Prague if he continued to encounter entrenched resistance. Adalbert returned as Bishop of Prague, where he was initially received with demonstrations of apparent joy. Together with a group of Italian Benedictine monks which brought with him, he founded in 14th of January 993 a monastery in Brevnov, the second oldest monastery on Czech territory. In 995, the Slavniks' former rivalry with the pre Mislids, who were allied with the powerful Bohemian clan of the Versoches, resulted in the storming of the Slavnik town of Libisnad Sidlino, which was led by the pre Mislid Bolslaus to the Pius. During the struggle, four or five of Adalbert's brothers were killed. The Zlik principality became part of the pre Mislids' estate. Adalbert unsuccessfully attempted to protect a noblewoman caught in adultery. She had fled to a convent, where she was killed. In upholding the right of sanctuary, Bishop Adalbert responded by excommunicating the murderers. Butler suggests that the incident was orchestrated by enemies of his family. After this, Adalbert could not safely stay in Bohemia and escaped from Prague. Strachfus was eventually appointed to be his successor. However, Strachfus suddenly died during the liturgy at which he was to accede to his episcopal office in Prague. The cause of his death is still ambiguous. The Pope directed Adalbert to resume his see, but believing that he would not be allowed back, Adalbert requested a brief as an itinerant missionary. Adalbert then travelled to Hungary and probably baptized Geza of Hungary and his son Stephen in Estergom. Then he went to Poland where he was cordially welcomed by then Duke Bolslaus I and installed as Bishop of Gniezna. Poland, Bohemia and Prussia during the reign of Boleslaw the Brave. The execution of St. Adalbert by the pagan Prussians, Gniezna doors. Adalbert again relinquished his diocese, namely that of Gniezna, and set out as a missionary to preach to the inhabitants near Prussia. Boleslav I, Duke of Poland, 
sent soldiers with Adalbert on his mission to the Prussians. The bishop and his companions, including his half-brother Redim, entered Prussian territory and traveled along the coast of the Baltic Sea to Gdansk. Success attended his efforts at first, but his imperious manner in commanding the people to abandon paganism irritated them, and at the instigation of one of the pagan priests he was murdered on 23 April 997 on the Baltic Sea coast east of Trusso or near Tenkitten and Fischhausen. It is recorded that his body was bought back for its weight in gold by King Bolslaus I of Poland. Silver Coffin of Adalbert, Cathedral in Gniezna Canonical Cross of St. Adalbert by Gianadis Gerzo. Collegiate Capital in Gdansk. Silver Gold 2011 Statue of St. Adalbert at Prague A few years after his martyrdom, Adalbert was canonized as St. Adalbert of Prague. His life was written in Vita Sancti Adalberti Progensis by various authors, the earliest being traced to Imperial Aachen and the Bishop of Liege. Nocker von Lodisch, although it was previously assumed that the Roman monk John Canaparius wrote the first Vita in 999. Another famous biographer of Adalbert was Bruno of Queerfort who wrote a hagiography of him in 1001-4. Notably, the pre mislid rulers of Bohemia initially refused to ransom Adalbert's body from the Prussians who murdered him, and therefore it was purchased by Poles. This fact may be explained by Adalbert's belonging to the Slavniks family which was rival to the pre mislids Thus Adalbert's bones were preserved in Gniezna, which assisted Bolslaus I of Poland in increasing Polish political and diplomatic power in Europe. According to Bohemian accounts, in 1039 the Bohemian Duke Bredislav I looted the bones of Adalbert from Gniezna in a raid and translated them to Prague. According to Polish accounts, however, he stole the wrong relics, namely those of Godentius, while the Poles concealed Adalbert's relics which remain in Gniezna. In 1127 his severed head, which was not in the original purchase according to Roxniki Polskie, was discovered and translated to Gniezna. In 1928, one of the arms of Adalbert, which Boleslavi had given to Holy Roman Emperor Otto III in 1000, was added to the bones preserved in Gniezna. Therefore, today Adalbert has two elaborate shrines in the Prague Cathedral and Royal Cathedral of Gniezna, each of which claims to possess his relics, but which of these bones are his authentic relics is unknown. For example, pursuant to both claims two skulls are attributed to Adalbert. The one in Gniezna was stolen in 1923. The massive bronze doors of Gniezna Cathedral, dating from around 1175, are decorated with 18 reliefs of scenes from Adalbert's life. They are the only Romanesque ecclesiastical doors in Europe depicting a cycle illustrating the life of a saint, and therefore are a precious relic documenting Adalbert's martyrdom. We can read that door literally and theologically. The 1000th anniversary of Adalbert's martyrdom was on April 23, 1997. It was commemorated in Poland, Czech Republic, Germany, Russia, and other nations. Representatives of Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, and Evangelical churches traveled on a pilgrimage to Adalbert's tomb located in Gniezna. Pope John Paul II visited the cathedral and celebrated a liturgy there in which heads of seven European nations and approximately one million faithful participated. A 10-meter cross was erected near the village of Baragovo, Kaliningrad Oblast, where Adalbert is thought to have been martyred by the Prussians. The Dagmar and Vaclav Havelweis 97 Foundation Prize, given annually to a distinguished thinker whose work exceeds the traditional framework of scientific knowledge, contributes to the understanding of science as an integral part of general culture and is concerned with unconventional ways of asking fundamental questions about cognition. Being in human existence includes a massive replica of Adalbert's Crozier by Czech artist Jury Plistik. Street. Wojciech Fellowship was established in 1870 by Slovak Catholic priest Andrzej Radlinski. It had facilitated Slovak Catholic thinkers and authors, continuing to publish religious original works and translations to this day. It is the official publishing body of Episcopal Conference of Slovakia. Thanks for watching.